Michelle Wu is not a traditional Boston mayor, the first woman and first person of color to be elected to the role. She's often seen with her kids in tow, and she used to bring them to meetings as the city council president. Hi, <laughs> nice to see you. Hi. Outside of politics, she's an accomplished pianist. Now she's pregnant with her third child. Conceived through IVF, which she says gives her a unique perspective on issues. I have kids at home. I get home, I am overwhelmed by two boys running over to me, and they remind me of how much joy there is in the world, but also how urgently we have, how urgent it is to fix these challenges. And every day that we make a step forward is a good day. I'm Michelle Wu. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Mayor Wu was elected to office three years ago on a progressive platform. <laughs> With the presidential election two months away, the city's successes and failures are taking on a greater importance. Cities are in a unique place where we are in the ocean of waves caused by international, national, and state-level policies and macroeconomic shocks, climate shocks, but we are closest to the ground and closest to the people. So when we make decisions, it ends up touching people's daily lives. Our goal every day, therefore, is to prove, to become that point where idea becomes reality and we show what's possible. While the mayor is focused on making changes at the local level, how you doing, guys? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Changes at the national level are having an impact close to home. We have now a Supreme Court appointed by that administration that has taken steps to ensure that my daughter, under their watch, would have fewer rights than her great grandmother, and that is simply unacceptable. If former President Trump wins, do you fear that those blue states will get clobbered again and again as they did last time on taxation? Those states that are naturally Democrat will be punished. It's more than taxes. I've been in my role now as mayor for three years, but I've been in city government for quite a long time. And so I know what it's like when you're working with a federal administration who understands cities, values partnership, and wants to move things forward versus being under an administration that city governments have to gird up to fight against to protect their residents. And it will be up to cities ultimately to be that last line of defense. Do you think that that is an argument that Vice President Harris can be criticized for leaning too far progressive? I was just at the Democratic National Convention. I had That's the preaching chance. to the converted mayor. That's <laughs> well, preaching to the converted. well, I'm saying I'm, I had the chance to meet those from all different stripes around the country. But the atmosphere there, the sense of unity across all different factions of the Democratic Party was palpable. The track record that Vice President Harris and Governor Waltz and the Biden-Harris administration in general have had I, on our team is in contact with them every single week on some issue. They have been through Boston. They have delivered resources. They understand what's happening at the city level. And we've seen remarkable progress. Boston is now the safest major city in America. We know that the instances of public safety incident have gone down nationally. In our city, we have seen up to 80% declines in crime. And we're proud to hold that up as an example of what happens when we have that partnership. The affordability of housing remains the major issue. Rents here have jumped 25% in the past five years. That's despite declining during the pandemic. <laughs> Mayor Wu has made the problem of accommodation a touchstone of her administration. She has plans to use empty office space to help bring down rents. This is the largest site approved to date for conversion from underutilized office space downtown to what will be almost 100 apartments for new residents. Nice thank you. Hey, thank you, uh, Mayor. Nice the Mayor has her share of accomplishments and grateful constituents, okay. and there's one year left in her term. These small businesses are really the lifeblood of our neighborhoods, and especially when it comes to times when downtowns everywhere are needing to boost foot traffic, getting them into vacant spaces makes all the difference. The mayor 
and Boston, hoping their successes can and will be replicated throughout these United States of America. Welcome to Boston! Which had its birth right here.